Everybody that's familiar with Health 101 understands that uh, polysaccharides, they're sugars. Mm -hmm. And surely sugar feeds cancer. So how can beta-glucans then fight it? Well, th to say that sugars feed cancer is a little bit of a, an overreach. You have to define sugars of whether or not they're simple sugars or complex sugars. Complex sugars or complex polysaccharides can't even be digested by the human body. Like fibers. Fibers are a great example. They go out about the same way they go into the body unless, you know, the gut bugs, you know, they, they like they like complex carbohydrates. They're referred to as prebiotics. And so unless you've got those gut bugs digesting the complex carbohydrates or in, in the way of our compound, which is taken up into Peyer's patches, the immune cells will will phagocytose or gobble up those uh, tiny particles and slowly secrete a long-chain water-soluble polysaccharide, which binds to that CR3 receptor. Now, again, after a period of several weeks, there may be a breakdown into simple sugars, but that's not going to be like you biting into an apple or biting into a pineapple or taking a drink of carrot juice, which are all heavily laden in simple sugars, which will break down into simple glucose, which would exacerbate uh, issues with blood sugar. Not our problem. In fact, because our, our product is a complex carbohydrate, increases your fiber intake, very, very healthy towards blood sugar and cardiovascular issues, like cholesterol, as an example.